So this was a new thing for me, and I was a little embarrassed to upload this, but it does get better by the end of the video. I do it again. I was trying out some footwork, footwork, um, spontaneous footwork, just to see how I can move myself with uh, under my with my feet underneath me and direction changes and agility. And I think that's something I'm going to work with a little bit more in the future. It did get a lot better at, uh, at the end of the video than then. So I wasn't completely embarrassed up with this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe now about the channel. But it's been a uh, very pretty weather out here. A nice fall weather, nice trees. I'm um, getting quite cold. So I might um, keep the outside training down to a minimum, unfortunately. Even when it does snow, I will do some bit outside in the cold just to get acclimated with the cold. And I had a really bomb meal here. It was some turkey, a uh, Cajun-style turkey. But here was the better one. I feel like it was a little bit better. I was able to articulate the legs a bit, but I think I need to focus a bit more on the upper body along with not having to think about it so much. So that will just come with repetitions and more time with the same concept in mind that I'll build up. And I feel this is nice. It gives me a little bit of rest throughout the rest of the rest throughout the rest of my body. And I still did some nighttime stretching, kept it light, kept it easy. Also the cold makes it a little bit more difficult to produce some high level of intensity because the muscles are cold and they need to be warmed up and that takes a, a good amount of time when you train in the style that I like to do so maybe it'd be best to switch to another type of more friendlier training for the winter time maybe some longer style uh, longer sets longer uh, more of like a, an easier exercise building up to a more pinnacle intensity within the same set so that it can get used to the coldness that is surrounding me. But here, back to the splits. This is, uh, I'm getting some good benefit out of this movement here. Quite nice. I was able to do the splits still. Um, it seems like every day I'm able to do the splits. Um, it is very tough, very uncomfortable, but I feel like I just need to get through that phase for a couple more months and then it'll be, um, quite comfortable and I'll be able to just, uh, not have to do all this, um, secondary work in order to achieve the middle splits in any session, but just be able to have it on demand and just have it in use. But here I get the calves to the floor. Just a quick touch, and then I roll into a straddle. So I do a little bit of neck work here with the, within the bridge position. Very light work for me to do. Um, I don't know if it was really that much effective, but it wasn't really too much of anything. But it sometimes is nice just to articulate the movements and you can build off of that base that you get from articulating. Now the bridge actually felt quite tough compared to some of the other days. I wasn't even really able to straighten out my arms or hold it all that long. 